guys welcome to ajs in this video we will talk about extramarital fs and this is going to be another another example of that so friends let's look at this horoscope right so this is the horoscope of a woman whose marriage was broken because of her extramarital affair again as you have seen in the previous videos you see the combination right 5 7 8 and the 12th house right in the 5th house you see ketu over here 7th house you can see moon 8th house saturn and 12th house sun and mars so here yeah, the 5th lord mars which is in the 12th house right and it is expecting the 7th house why through its 8th aspect 8th lord moon in the 7th house aspected by the fifth lord right this shows the hidden affair affecting the married life now venus is moving and aspected by saturn how because saturn is in eighth house venus is in second right so direct aspect rahu is in the 11th house the seventh lord aspecting the seventh house Gives strength to her married life, right? Who is the seventh lord in this case? It is Mercury, and Mercury being in the first house through the seventh aspect, it is looking at his own house, right? Thus, she was married after a divorce. Note that Jupiter would not let things go wrong socially, right? Jupiter is in the sixth house; it would not. let things go wrong from the social perspective if the seventh house is aspected by the jupiter then the person is afraid of society okay in this case it is not aspected so definitely like this lady was not afraid of the society now as in the previous example we saw jupiter was aspecting the 7th house and that guy did not publicize his relations and break his married life right but in that case jupiter was aspecting the 7th in this case it is not so she got a divorce and in this case mars is the one who is aspecting the 7th house and this gives courage to this lady and it is because of that reason she is devoid of any benefic aspect right had it been jupiter she would have been afraid of society in all the sense but in this case since it is not the case so she doesn't have the understanding between what is good and what is right so this is one more example and through this combinations we can judge some of the extra marital relations so that's it for today see you again in the next episode uh, with some other example thank you